Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you all of my tips and tricks for spray painting furniture. You guys know I love paint and I think it's such a great way to transform really almost anything in your house on a budget. And spray paint is one of those things that can look really beautiful if it's done well, but can also look really bad if it isn't. I have definitely had my spray painting incidents in the past with dripping and running and chipping and all that stuff. So today I wanted to show you how I spray painted these farmhouse bistro chairs. They used to be a sort of silver color and now I wanted them a really pretty copper rose for fall so I'm gonna take you along as I spray paint those and show you how I prep how I paint and how I finish the chairs so that the surface is nice and even so there's no drips and runs and so that I am preventing chips and anything like that from happening in the future let's get started the only thing I did to prepare my chairs for painting was I gave them a really good clean with a degreasing cleaner. You might have to lightly sand your pieces if there's any old chips or old paint on them, but these ones were relatively new, so I just made sure that any grease and dust was off of these chairs. I'm using Rust-Oleum's Universal Metallic Spray Paint in the color called Copper Rose. I just popped off the little safety clip there. I wanted to try this color on my farmhouse chairs because it's really pretty and warm for fall. I also love this brand of spray paint because the nozzle really works well. Let me show you the technique that I use. So rather than turning around on my furniture, I make sure that I do the turnaround of my spray paint can off of the furniture because as you can see when you go over the same spot multiple times or you turn around on the same spot that's when you're going to get your blobs and your blotches and your uneven surfaces. So here's the chairs that I'm using. Also make sure that you are wearing a mask when you spray paint. You don't want to get any of it in your nose and mouth. And so you can see when I go back and forth on my piece of furniture, I'm turning the spray paint can around off of the furniture. So yes, you're going to have lots of off spray, some waste of paint, but you're not going to get those blobs and those streaks on your furniture because you're continually moving your paint can across the piece of furniture. So nice, long, even strokes, turn around off of your furniture and you can overlap your strokes slightly on your furniture to give your piece a nice, even look. You always want to be moving, moving, moving your paint can, never keep it in the same spot because that's when you're going to get drips and runs. And you also want to make sure that you do several light coats of spray paint rather than one or two heavy coats. You also want to make sure that you are shaking your can as much as you can in between coats to keep the paint moving through the spray paint can. So for these chairs, I did three light coats of this copper rose spray paint. It covers quite well, so I didn't have to do that much work. Another reason I love this brand of spray paint is, is because you can go uh, side to side, upside down, right side up, and the spray seems to work really well. So here's after the second and the third coat of paint on my chairs, and I really loved how this paint looks. In between coats, make sure that you wait enough time for everything to dry thoroughly so a couple hours at least in between coats that's really going to help your paint last as well and then i'm using this clear top coat it's also by rust-oleum to do my final protective top coat on these chairs so i'm using the same technique with this top coat as i did with the rest of the spray paint and it's going to give a nice hard surface for these chairs so that the actual spray paint color doesn't scratch off of the chairs The next tip that works really well to keep spray paint from chipping and flaking is to make sure that you leave enough time for your furniture pieces to cure before you use them. So I let these chairs sit for two days, a good solid 48 hours before I sat on them or moved them around or anything so my paint was nice and hard and cured. So you can see I'm scratching this chair a couple days after it's been painted and the finish is really nice and hard. 
So here are my finished chairs. I love how this color turned out. I'm really, really happy with the finish. As you can see, it's really nice and even and smooth. I really like the sheen of that top coat. The only thing I'm not sure about is I don't love how they look with my dining room table. There's a slightly yellow undertone to my table and these chairs have obviously an orange tone. So I would love to hear in the comments below what you think of this combo. I might change things around and move these to a different table or change them somewhat, but stay tuned to my fall decor and you'll find out. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any more tips on how you spray paint furniture or if you have any more questions on how to spray paint. I would love to chat with you down in the comment section below. If you like DIY and decor on a budget, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to be the first to hear of my latest videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys all again in my next video. Bye.